Hey guys, Jason here from Usable Smoke Productions, and in today's video, we'll show you how to customize your track icons in Logic Pro. Let's roll. All right, so what we're gonna do is, to start, we're going to find an image that we'd like to use. You can really, I mean, you can take a picture of whatever it is that you want to use as your icon. For example, if you have a, a guitar that you've, you know, uh, customized, you know, your own paint job, decals, etc. Uh, it's a one-of-a-kind thing, and you want to make sure that uh, you can use it as an image um, for your track. That's fine. Take a picture of it. I'll show you how to edit it and uh, use it um, in Logic Pro. Um, in my case, I... Um, I have uh, just found an image on the internet um, for a product that I have, and that's the Roland Rhythm Arranger, a TR-66. Um, you can't really, uh, they're not manufacturing it anymore, uh, so it's uh, not harmful for me to use this image. You can just find it on any website. Just make sure that it's a royalty-free image. All right, so anyway, I'm going to pull the image up here. Uh, I've downloaded it already, and I'm going to... Um, double click it and it's going to open in preview on my Mac and you can see um, the uh, background of the image is white we want to make sure that we get rid of the background we only want to use the image of the actual uh, item that we are going to use as our track icon so what you're going to do is you're going to click on this little uh, markup toolbar icon and you're going to press uh, the instant alpha and basically what you'll do is you'll uh, click on the background and you're just going to kind of drag and what it does and you slowly kind of move it so that you can eliminate uh, that from the image okay so it takes a little bit of practice but once you've got it you can go ahead and you'll see that it kind of uh, highlights around the image and then you just delete the background okay it's okay if you uh, duplicate it as a editable file, that's fine. Um, and you can just go ahead and do that again, click on it. And you know you may have to uh, go a couple of times. There's a little bit of this white part here at the bottom uh, that we wanna try to get rid of. There we go. A little bit down here. And that should be pretty good. All right, so then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save this image. And what we're gonna do is we're going to place the image in a folder that we can then um, access uh, you know, with the rest of any other custom icons that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, save this to my folder and I'm going to go ahead and just move it to and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to this folder here there we go and I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, let's see here actually I think I just clicked on the wrong folder. Yep, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to pictures. All right, and as you can see, I have um, created a folder here, Logic Pictures, and I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Uh, there. All right, cool. So I'm done with this. Go ahead and click out of it, and now I can open up Logic Pro. So what I'm going to do uh, here is I'm just going to... Uh, create a, a new project. I'm not going to save anything from this project. This is just to get me uh, in here for you know dem demonstrating the process here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to my first track that I want to use the custom icon. And if I just click on this uh, icon over here, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. All right. So if I go ahead and I click on that icon, um, or control click or right click. It'll bring up my stock uh, icons here, you know, for drums, percussion, bass, guitar, you know, all this other stuff that comes with Logic. But if you go down here to where it says custom icons, 
these are all the ones that I've already added. Uh, I can click on this plus sign and it will open up my folder. You have to, of course, you know, find it, uh, you know, designate the file path. But I'm going to go ahead and go to Logic Pictures. And here is the one that I have just created, this Roland RA copy. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And now I go to Custom Icons, and it is going to appear right there at the bottom. So there I have now created my custom icon that I can use. Uh, for all of my projects. All right. And again, this just kind of helps uh, customize your experience here in Logic and it allows you to keep track of uh, your tracks a little bit more easily. It puts a little life and pizzazz and color um, in, your, uh, in your projects. So uh, once again, um, I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, it's my goal to kind of share with you guys what I've learned along the way. And if it helps somebody, uh, that's, that's the whole point is to, uh, you know, help each other learn. So again, uh, I wish you well, good luck in your music making. I hope you found this video helpful and, uh, please consider liking and subscribing to Musical Smoke Productions. Thanks guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.